Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today I have a really handy productivity macro for you. What it's going to do is open a file. So if there's a file that you often use in Microsoft Excel, this is a macro that will open it for you automatically. It will also optionally select the worksheet within that file that you typically want to use. So what we're going to do is we're going to our personal XLSB workbook inside the Visual Basic Editor. You're getting to that by selecting Developer and then select Visual Basic. If you don't have a personal macro workbook, check in the top corner here because I've got a link to a video that will teach you how to do that. I've got a new module in my workbook. If you have to add a new one, choose Insert and Module. These modules can have multiple macros in them, so you don't necessarily have to create a new one if you don't want to. We're going to type our sub-statement, and then we're going to just put in a name for this. So I'm going to open a file that's got product data in it. So I'm just going to call this product data open, making sure, of course, that your macro name doesn't have any spaces in it or anything. So I'm just going to press the enter key that will automatically put in all the bits that I need. Now, the command for opening a workbook is really simple. It's just workbooks.open. And then after that, you have inside two sets of quote marks, the file name and path that you want to open. Now, one of the ways that you can obtain this is from the File Explorer. So here is File Explorer open. This is the file I want to open. So I would just right click it and choose copy as path and that will give me the path name. Now, the path name is going to come in with an extra set of quote marks. So when I paste it in here, you'll notice that I get two sets of quote marks. I'm going to get an error if I don't remove the second set. So just be aware of that. If you get an error, that's what's the problem. Now, you can also get the file name by choosing File and then Open. Or if it's in the list here, you could just right click and choose copy path to clipboard and that will give you the file name and its location on the drive that you could just paste in here. So let's just see that when I paste it in, I'm getting the exact same file and location. So that would be perfect to use as well. Now that we've got this, I'm just going to save my file and we're going to have a look at how we would attach this to the ribbon and then we'll have a look at the actual worksheet within that file. To add it to the ribbon, we're going to choose File and then Options and then Customize Ribbon. Over here, you're going to see the tabs that you've got and you can create a new tab group if you don't have a tab group to store things in. I've already got one, but I'm going to show you how you'd make yours. I'll click New Tab. And then we're going to click on the new tab and we're going to rename it. You might call it something like macros. And then you can rename the new group that's been created for you. And I might call this something like file open. And this is where I'm going to put all my file open macros if I have multiples of them. Now you can determine a icon to or symbol to use. I'm just going to select any one. It doesn't really matter today. Now to find your macro, you're going to popular commands and then you're going to select macros. And this will show you all the macros that you have in your personal workbook, as well as any other macros that might be open and available right now. But the one we want is this one, the product data one. So with the location that we want to put it into selected, we're just going to click add. And it's going to come in with a really long name and we don't need that long of a name. So I'm going to right click it and choose rename. And I'm going to take out its location because I don't need to know that. I just need to know which macro it is. So I'm going to call this just product data. Now for this display name, it doesn't matter if it's got spaces in it. So that's just fine. If you want to give it an icon, you can. I'm just going to give it a green block and I'll click OK. And then I would click OK again, but it is also possible to move this macros tab further up. You can see here that mine is my stuff and it's right next to home. If you want to move yours, just close it down so all you can see is the macro name selected and then just move it up. I'm going to put this one actually in front of my stuff. So it's going to appear up here in just a minute. Now I'll click OK. And here is my macros one and it's got my product data open. So if I click this, I'm going to open my file and it just popped up on my second screen. So here it is here. Now into this, I'm going to add a second sheet. So 
this sheet one is the sheet that I want to be able to view every time I open this workbook. All I'm going to do is make a note of its name. Now, if you're not 100% sure if it's got a really long name, double click so that the name is highlighted like that and press Control C and that will copy the name to the clipboard. There's no copy option here for this, but trust me, it's going to be copied. Now, what I'm going to do is actually save this workbook and close it on the wrong sheet. So when we open it again, if we just test it, I'm just bringing the file back, it's open to the wrong sheet. So let's close that down and let's see how we would edit this particular macro that we just created to open the worksheet that we want to see. And that's just a worksheets command. You're going to type worksheets and then an open bracket and a quote mark. You're going to paste in or type in the sheet name, close the double quotes, close the open bracket and just type activate. If everything goes right, you'll find that Activate, if you've typed it in in lowercase, it's going to get a capital letter on it. That's just Excel saying, oh, it's okay, I understand what you're doing. I can understand this as a command. So that's sort of like a double check that you're doing things right. So now we're just going to come back into our workbook and click on Product Data and the file opens and it opens at the correct sheet. So if you've got lots and lots of sheets, then you can not only open a file with a single click, but also navigate very quickly to the actual sheet that you want. Of course, you can create as many macros as you like for as many files as you like. I just find it a lot easier to click to open a file than to try and navigate through the file open area every time, particularly for files that I use every day. If you like carefully researched content like this, clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results every time, then you'll love my other YouTube videos. So give this video a thumbs up and click to subscribe to the channel. And on the screen now, you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you to watch next.